Hey guys and welcome in to games you've probably never played. This is a new series that I'll be doing that uh, kind of looks into some old PS1 games and some random gems I find on demo discs. Now I have an absolute crap ton of demo discs from the PS1 era. Uh, I can even go through, I have like a whole pile of them here which I can probably get to show you. Um, and yeah, uh, these, these are games that I've found that have interested me. Uh, there's a few here, Firebug's amazingly good game that not many people have heard of. Uh, Medieval, there's a ton of, a ton of games on here. So this series may be quite big. Let's try and get the camera in position here for the PS1. Because uh, it is, of course, the PS1 I'm using. Um, and uh, first demo we have here. It, the first game I want to show you, this is going to be the first series, first episode of the series, is going to be a little game I found called Apocalypse. Uh, Apocalypse. And I've never heard of this at all until now. And you may have noticed there was a quick snippet of what looked like Bruce Willis right there. And yes, it is Bruce Willis. I didn't know this game existed. Where has this game come from? <laughs> Why has no one told me? So basically the plot of the game is, what I can get from this demo, is that Bruce Willis is here to save us from the four horsemen of the apocalypse, Darksiders style. Uh, but he is basically sent out with a gun. And the controls I will show you are very, very weird, but also slightly ahead of their time. Um, and this is made by Neversoft, who, who I'm sure are the ones that did Tony Hawk's later on. Uh, this is 1997, uh, and it's also produced and uh, put out by Activision. Um, 1998, it says there. So, I'm going to give you a scale of the, the, the era this is. And you can see that that is blatantly Bruce Willis. Uh, and also the voice acting is. I, I, is there a film this is based on? Is this a, is this a, game, is this a game that's based on a film? This is the intro. I'll let you hear this. And my sword, only one man, my oldest student, now my sworn enemy, knows my plan and knows how I raised my horsemen from the dead. Death, plague, war, beast, my four horsemen of the apocalypse, There's the intro for the game. Um, now I'll show you the control scheme here. It, it, it said that you use the uh, X, uh, X, B, uh, X square go, circle please. buttons to control the character, and that's not completely true. You can uh, change it around and use the analog stick. Now what you have here is kind of a Geometry Wars style uh, analog stick system. Now I'm going to kind of show you here. Basically, as you can see here, I'm going to move the stick around, and I can move it around full 360 degrees and I can move him with the analog stick. So that is quite futuristic for a game of this era. Uh, if there's any other games that do that, then let me know, but I don't know of many others. Uh, and of course, this, is, this has become a big thing now on Xbox Live Arcade games that you have the twin stick games, but this is kind of a first, from, well, from my point of view, that I've ever played this early anyway, and it works really well. I mean, the graphics are actually quite nice. Uh, they, they they look slightly cartoony, cell shaded. It reminds me slightly of um, of Borderlands uh, in a in a weird way. Now the game is very dark, and I can't change that. That's just how the game is, annoyingly. Uh, and the character does move pretty darn quickly, but th there's a lot of detail. I mean, his gun when he stops firing, it does leave smoke. Uh, it kind of leaves smoke coming off of it, as you can see there, um, which is pretty darn cool and I can press circle to, uh, to open these doors here and those explode, not actually killing the enemy, which is slightly weird uh, and you can hear that that is Bruce Willis' voice, uh, which is really cool I, 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 mean, I didn't know he uh, was in many video games, I knew he was, uh, I'm guessing he was in the Fifth Element game which is a shockingly bad game, and I may do a video on that at some point um, but that is blatantly his voice and 
If it's if it's some kind of voice actor trying to do a Bruce Willis voice, he's done a very good job. Um, but if is there is there a movie tied in with this that I've not heard of? Uh, I mean, if this isn't Bruce Willis, then oh my god, they ripped him off, you know? Uh, so yeah. It, it, it's just really cool. There's a load of cool pickups you can get. I'm gonna pick up a, 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 like a plasma pistol, a plasma Grab kind on, of. Look at this! I mean, that is cool. I got a plasma beam, which is just freaking epic, and it just disintegrates everything into blood piles. And of course, this is in an era where FMVs were quite a big thing, and that actually looks quite good. Um, so. It, it, it works really well, and the game is actually very fun to play. I mean, he just lost his head, that guy there. So the gore is pretty damn impressive. Uh, now it's gonna put me down so, oh, okay, I'm dead. I, I, see, I don't know how to jump. I think it's R1, but that's a stupid place to put it, if that, if that is. And there you go, that is it. That's Apocalypse. It's a random, random game, but really, really good. I recommend checking this game out if you ever get the chance to. It's on PS1, go pick it up. <laughs> I'm probably going to do the same now. Thanks for watching, but until next time on games you've probably never heard of, that's me, out.